right, first upload of the year. Happy New Year, everyone, and I hope you all had a great festive period with your family and your loved ones, or however you chose to spend it. Um, I realize I'm a little bit late with that one, but things have been kind of hectic around here. I've actually been putting off making this video for quite a while now, because I didn't really know how to do it. And in the end, I decided I wanted to just go out and do a ride and do it like that. But in between the wet season and two tropical cyclones, that's easier said than done. But we finally got a beautiful day that I could come out and make it happen. Although it is a little bit windy, so hopefully the audio is okay. Now, I haven't really been uploading very much recently, as I'm sure you've all noticed. And there's a reason for that. And that reason is the first piece of big news I'm about to give you, which is that I'm leaving Australia. Basically, I'm on the COVID visa right now. Now, the COVID visa was originally put in place for people who got stuck here during the pandemic, but they then expanded it to help critical sectors uh, retain their workforce. So because I worked in a critical sector, I was allowed to stay and work. But recently, they removed that visa. So now, when my visa ends in April, I can't renew it again. That's it, I have to go. So at this point, before I go any further, I should probably address the elephant in the room, which is that when I leave Australia in April, Bonnie isn't coming with me. We've mutually decided that it's time to part ways. Now, there wasn't a big drama. There was no huge argument or blow up or anything like that. Like, we're both still cool and um, we speak to each other most days. In fact, I might insert a little video of her in the corner here or something giving you a wave just to let you know it's all cool. But the thing is, a lot's happened in the last few years with adventures and pandemics and everything else. And we've both grown a lot and we've grown apart. We both want very different things and we both see our futures going very different ways. So I know that's not much consolation to you guys. Um, Bonnie's gonna leave a huge void on this channel and she's gonna be missed by everyone, even me. But it's the way it is. And I guess that's all there is to say about it, really. I don't want to make a big song and dance about it. At the end of the day, this is our personal life. But I am acutely aware that by making these videos in this YouTube channel, I have put our personal life out there in public. So I do feel obligated to let everyone know what's going on. And on a more personal note, all you guys watching our videos have been so kind and so supportive and so amazing that I feel like I owe it to you guys. And of course, if I didn't make this video, I'd be getting asked for, until the end of time where Bonnie is. So again, I'm really sorry guys, but it's time for us both to move on. So moving on, I'm leaving in April. You might be wondering where exactly I'm leaving to. Well, on the 22nd of April, I'll fly to Bali where I'm gonna spend one week exploring the island. And then on the 1st of May, I start pedaling. And the plan is to cycle up through Java and Sumatra and into Malaysia, through Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, and Vietnam, and spend roughly, I would guess, six months solo bike touring around Southeast Asia. And hopefully I'll finish in Hanoi maybe sometime around Christmas or something like that, and start planning the next step. Now at this point, who knows what the next step will be. India is looking quite attractive. Maybe I'll fly there and keep going from there. We'll see. So that's the big exciting news, and that's where all of my attention's being focused at the minute. I've got a lot of stuff to sort out before April. But what does this mean for the future of the channel? Well, I realized for the last year or so, I haven't really been uploading the content that I'm sure most of you guys came here for. That is bike touring and bike travel. But you know, when you get a job and you get stuck in one place, I don't know, 
that's easier said than done. So putting out all these review videos that I've been doing recently, it was just sort of a way to keep the channel ticking over. When the last two are finished, I didn't want to just leave the channel dead for a year. I figured it was worth trying to use the time productively and doing reviews and tips and tricks videos was just just a way to try and be productive until the next adventure. But now that adventure is right around the corner. So I've still got a couple more review videos to do. Um, I've been sent a couple of products from a couple of companies and and the deal is I get the product, they get a review. So I'm obligated to do those, so I'll be knocking those out in the next few weeks. And after that, perhaps I'll do some setup videos. Those who've been looking at my Strava and Instagram will see that I've been riding a new bike recently. And this is the bike that I'm gonna ride around Southeast Asia on, maybe even the world. So perhaps I'll do some videos of the bike and all the equipment that I'm gonna be taking with me. But then at the end of April, it'll be back to business as usual. I'll be documenting the entire trip and uploading it to YouTube. I'm hoping to upload an episode at least once a month, maybe more often if there's a lot of things happening and if I, I can get reliable internet and whatnot. Uh, we'll see. And hopefully in between the bike touring episodes, maybe I'll throw out a few reviews and little guides and stuff like that. Some of you will have noticed that over the last year, I've been investing heavily in all my video and photography equipment. And that was all because I knew this day would come. I'm fully committed to making the best videos I can over the next year. So hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy what I've got in store. I guess one last thing that I should probably mention is that I'm currently restructuring my Patreon page. I felt like I never really gave patrons enough for their money in the past like i know a lot of people it patreon is just a way to say thanks for the videos or to donate to the cause but i always felt like i should be given a bit more value than that so that's happening i am going to be looking to try and generate some cash on the road to help with editing costs and buying hard drives and stuff like that so one thing will be that all Patreon supporters get the videos early and get them ad free. So if that's something that appeals to you, maybe keep an eye out for that. I'm also looking at maybe getting some merch on the go, maybe some stickers or something like that. So that way you can support the trip, but also get something for your money. Anyway, all the details of that stuff I will share as I figure it out. And I guess that's pretty much it. Um, I want to kind of keep this video short and sweet just to sort of keep you guys in the loop. If you'd like to hear more about the trip, maybe about the proposed route or, or anything like that, then do drop a comment below and uh, stay tuned. Exciting times ahead.